This video is to talk about why the market does not produce the best outcome when there are negative externalities present. So here I have drawn some supply and demand curves and we have the intersection of them at this equilibrium point with the P star and Q star denoted. And normally we're used to thinking of this as the efficient point. It is socially optimal. It maximizes producer plus consumer surplus and everything is amazing. Let's ask ourselves now what would happen in this market if the producers didn't have to pay for one of their inputs. Let's say that they didn't have to pay for labor. Well, what would happen then is of course the supply curve would shift the price would fall and the quantity would increase. Why? Because now the producers are paying fewer costs. Well, it turns out when there are negative externalities involved, the private costs of the producers or their internal costs are reflected by this red curve. But the total social costs, including the externalities, is reflected in our original black curve. So if we take a look at the surplus generated by the initial situation, if we include the social costs, then we have this shaded area representing producer and consumer surplus. Well, what happens now, if the market is producing beyond that point Q, Q is the optimal point, if we're actually producing at Q prime, that quantity in red, we will have some dead weight loss. And that is why the market does not come up with the best outcome.